All right, so in today's tutorial, we're gonna be playing with more motion graphics and we're gonna make this really cool ribbon effect. Let me show it to you. So here's the scene and I'm just gonna press play and we're gonna be creating this animation right here and then it goes right back out. So if you wanna down, kinda of slow down there. It's a little bit hefty. Um, so yeah, if you wanna download this project file you're seeing right now, you can go on Gumroad and get that for a dollar. But I'm gonna show you how to make this. So let's just watch this one more time and it goes out. So let me show you how to make this. All right, now some of you actually may recognize this uh, process. If you've seen the last tutorial, the previous one I made, this is a very similar node setup, but I changed some things and applied some animation so you get a completely different look. But let's just go in and add some geometry. You can use anything you would like to use here. So I'm just gonna take this guy, subdivide him, and I'm gonna add just a little bit of displacement to him just to give it some character. And let's see, we're gonna add some clouds bring that down and bring it like this. Okay, cool, so I like that. Now, let's start and add some shading to it. So, let's click New, I'm gonna go to Look Dev here in Eevee, and I'm gonna go from Eevee and turn off the bloom. So, now we have this, kill this background too, it's a little bit much. So, let's take this principled shader, let's go ahead and already add the color we'd like to use. I'm gonna use orange and make it metallic. So, let's get a mix RGB and plug that right into there. Now let's get a mix shader and plug that right here and we're gonna mix it with a transparent. Transparent BSDF. And I'm gonna plug this right here. So let's just swap them out here to keep it organized and let's use this guy top socket to tell it where to go. So first we're gonna add a color ramp to crunch anything that's gonna be going behind it which is a wave texture, kinda of like the last tutorial. So let's get a wave texture, plug that in there. So if you have the Node Wrangler add-on installed, it comes with Blender, you can just go to the add-ons. I'm gonna hit Control T, go to the mapping node, and I'm gonna go to U Object and use that. Now you may see nothing happening even though we have this color ramp and this wave texture. We need to actually go to the shading settings if you are using EV here, and go to the shader right here on settings, go from blend mode to alpha clip, and now we have Technically, we have our ribbons. We're already done. There you go. But no, we're gonna we're gonna have some more fun with this. So click on this guy, and let's go ahead and start doing some fun stuff. So I'm gonna take these mapping nodes and the texture coordinate. I'm gonna hit G to move them away, and all we're gonna do is add a separate X Y Z. So let's take the separate X Y Z, put them here, and use the Z. So now it's going straight up and down. That's what the Z does. It just takes it from top to bottom and manipulates that rather than letting the wave texture just do whatever it wants to do. And we can take this color ramp and make it smaller if we want, but I'm gonna leave it there for now. Now we could just use the scale here and animate this, but it's just not, it wouldn't be as fun. So you would just, you know, animate it just like that, but it wouldn't be as fun. We need to make it look kind of like flowing ribbons. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to layout and we're gonna add a displacement to the displacement, just acting like Honestly, we'll just apply this so that's just one mesh. So let's add a displacement to it, just like you're having any kind of model. And so let's get the displace here, give it a strength of 0 0.3 for now. And we're gonna add another uh, cloud and then bring it down here like that and bring the scale up. So I want it to be right around, maybe around there. So we need to use a object to tell it how to displace instead of just, animating the size that wouldn't look good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get an empty and a plane axis, and I'm just gonna bring this guy right over here, and let's click on the guy, and we'll go back to this place, and we're gonna pick local to object, and let's pick that empty. So now let's just animate his location. All right, so now let's take this empty, and right here on all the location tabs, right here in the, in the transform, let's just slide it down, click all three of them, now let's just count one, two, three, four. About four second animation, I'm gonna hit G and bring it to the other side. And you can see it displacing my object. Bring it to the end and there you go. So now we have a four second animation it displacing. It's way too fast. So I'm just gonna take him. So now I'm just gonna take him and bring it farther out this direction so we have a nicer. So now we have a smoother animation of it just sort of kind of acting like ribbons. Now, just for one more layer of detail and animation, we're gonna go over here and slightly displace the actual wave texture with a noise texture. So let's take a noise, plug it right here. Now it's gonna just kind of make it go crazy. That doesn't look good. 
So we want it just to affect it slightly and we're gonna add a mix RGB, plug it there, and then we use the object coordinate, plug it into socket two. So what that's gonna do, so what that's gonna do, this factor is gonna tell it how much of that noise to use by using this slider. So I'm just gonna slide them right about here, bring the detail all the way down and bring the scale at say two. And so now we can just sort of move those ribbons around. Let's make it three. So now those ribbons aren't quite as straight up and down and they're just sort of displacing by a little bit. And now we have a, a pretty nice animation here. Just playing with those ribbons. Now that's a little bit too much on the strength. So we can just bring the strength down 0.2 or even 0.1. And then now we can just watch the ribbons sort of move just a little bit. It looks better on some models, but just sort of some motion graphics. Now all we need to do left is actually animate this, the actual, the animation that we played with. So click on the object and on the wave texture, we're gonna bring up the timeline down here and let's go and add the timeline it's right here. And let's go to zero on the scale. So there's no object, right click, insert keyframe, one, two, three, four, five. Doesn't really matter on the time, just whatever you wanna do and then bring the scale in until you like where it's at. Right click, insert keyframe. And now, he comes in just like that. And then all you have to do is do the same thing. We'll start right here on the shading here. Right click, insert keyframe to just duplicate it. And then go back to zero, insert keyframe. And boom, he comes in just like that. And then he heads out just like that. So now you have this really cool animation so you can play with. And let's hit play, puts it in, and then he heads out. So that's the animation. So there you go, I hope you learned something, I hope you had some fun. If you wanna go check out my Instagram, you can send me that render if you make it. I'm gonna link my Instagram in the description. Go check that out, thanks for watching.